important it really is. Whether it's you, John Vaholic, or you, Evolutions, if it's important enough to do, then you budget time for it. And I know for myself, I struggle with it and have more at different times depending on what I'm doing professionally. But it becomes a virtual water cooler and you go there to check on what people are doing and you want to check in with friends and colleagues and friends and friends and friends and family. Mm -hmm. But if it's important, you need to do it with consistency and you need to make time for it. That's my first thing. My second thing is I personally have lots of different pages and comment differently on different pages. So PTO page for my son's school, DeCosta and Associates page, the ICOSA page, my personal Kim page. You, you, do, you say different things at different times and most of you who know me and most of you know me know that you're going to see kind of the same thing just with a different perspective depending on where you're connected to. So I agree with that approach for sure. You've got to block out the time and you've got to say this is when I do this or hire somebody who's doing that on behalf of you if you can't do that and it's not cost effective from a business and marketing standpoint. And I do believe wholeheartedly that the different hats, I mean, almost physically, you can imagine Hank Kimball going from one window to the next window in, in, uh, on, on Green Acres. They, they had a guy and he was the county commissioner and he was this and he was that. And he would go from one window to the next window and he'd say, oh, that's the other department. And he'd go over and open the other thing, right? And, and this is kind of what we're talking about is, you know, who am I speaking to and what audience, uh, you know, am I trying to influence and, and what would I, I went too fast there, and what, would I, and what would I say to this group? And so, you know, I might write about the restaurant in a whole different way at my personal page than I might write at my business page. You know, and just say, hey, guys, this is great. You ought to go check this out. And, and then the business one, hey, this is an amazing new restaurant that I found that I thought that my colleagues and friends, no, 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 Aren't there also programs that you can, I mean, like we're trying to use Hootsuite and set it up so that it will um, kind of help us time those things? Now, that would be with the information you're putting out, but not necessarily on the things, you know, if, 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 if go ahead, Pete. Okay, so well, cause, to, to I mean, this like, I know that I have alerts for certain things that come to my phone so that I can respond on our page because at one point we had somebody posting things on our page that was just some kid. Right. And they weren't very polite. And so I was pulling them down almost as fast as he could get them up. So can't you set it also on your income that it's going to your cell phone or it's going to your mobile communication? You sure can. But if and I'm then you can respond. But if I'm in a meeting right now or we're here right now, and you guys are all here, and I'm sitting here doing this, yeah. I think I'm irritating some, uh, probably a large number of you, right? So this is what I'm saying. I can't go into a meeting. Right. I well, can't then, go then into a meeting like and do that. We have a couple people assigned. Huh? Do we have a couple people assigned to it so that somebody can So respond? that's their job. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying, right? So absolutely, you've got to take the money that you spent on other advertising and maybe invest in somebody or something that is going to allow you to do these, and this is your advertising. Marketing blogger, he doesn't run his Facebook stuff or any of his, his social media stuff. He has other people represent themselves as a representative of Seth Godin. So that would be one opportunity I think you could do is, hey, it's Peter talking on behalf of, and um, do you see what I mean? Or the other thing is you don't have to write. You, know, you, you just talked about video. Buy a flip cam for 200 bucks and sit down at your desk and talk about whatever the topic of the day is and put the video up. And I, 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 what I want to say about that is that, that we do this at Webolutions, right? We manage social media accounts for companies, and, uh, and it, it, it's not the flip of a switch where you can go actually go speak in somebody's voice. It's an iterative organic process by which you develop a strategy and talk to somebody and say, who are you and what's the experience of your brand and how am I going to represent you well? And what would I say when people do this? And what's our policy for addressing that? And how would we speak to this? And, and you're going back to the person you're representing to make sure that it's done well so that they would handle it the same way. But you've got to have those criteria and those guidelines. And a together. window to it, you know, uh, just. bunch of different avenues that we all have to approach and we all have to go. We're in a society of instant gratification takes too damn long. I mean, really. <laughs> really, we are. I mean, how many, how many of us get text messages and we're like, okay, I can answer this in 30 seconds and the person's already going, why didn't you answer me? I mean, <laughs> and so really it's taking the time and all of our effort and all of our money and figuring out how we're going to make the priorities work what's the best business decisions, talk about ROIs and everything else like that. That's the society we live in. 
we have to make time for it and you have to figure out what time is most beneficial for your business. So unfortunately, that's where we're at. Yep. So did we address the voice? You can get somebody to do it, but they've got to do it on your behalf with your intent and with those things. And they can represent you as a business without saying you wrote it. I don't think that's that's so crazy. When Peter does the stuff for Belco, he's got to speak in Belco's voice, right? Which may be a little different than Peter's voice. All right. So so very good. Um, what what I want to look at now is um, you know based on that uh, into interactive dialogue. What I want to ask before we get into the tools is what are social media sites? We're going to say selecting the right tools, and so. Meetup, you guys are all on Meetup, or a majority of you at least. Is Meetup a social media tool? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what makes it a social media tool? It responds to us. Reviews, comments. It brings people together. The reviews and the comments make it, by definition, an interactive dialogue. And, and so sometimes people think that they've got social media things going on, but if there isn't interactive dialogue, then it's not social media, right? Uh, is a blog social media? Is that a social media marketing channel? Can be. When is it? When you allow comments and you respond to comments. If you don't allow comments, you're not doing social media just because you have a blog. And I've talked to people that have said, well, we have a blog. Do you allow comments? No. Well, then you're not really participating in social media. It's still marketing. It's, still marketing. it's more publishing than it is using social media. And this, this is the point I'm, I'm, I'm going for, obviously. Um, if you're not entertaining and allowing comments and interacting with that, with that stuff that you're pushing out there, you're not participating in social media, strictly speaking, right? Yeah. Can it still be if they're sharing it? They can be participating in social media, but you're not because you're not allowing any interaction to occur. Now they're putting it out there and they're having a dialogue around your content, so it's, it's pushing and syndicating like, like, like publishing a story and having it get picked up by the newspapers, but it's not interactive, is, is what I'm proposing, right? There's a conversation, huh? Forums, forums by nature, right? Are interactive dialogue on the internet. That, in a way, is social media, I, I would propose. Anybody have different thoughts about that? To get our ratings higher up with Google, does Google look at the dialogues that we are doing? You have to define the location of that dialogue for me to answer that question. Which well, dialogue? Well, let's say that you're on LinkedIn, and you've got a forum going on that. Does, does Google pick that up? Google indexes LinkedIn forums, okay. yes. Google indexes blog posts, yes. Well, and what about Facebook posts and things like that? Google indexes those. Okay, so that's we need to keep that in mind also then. Because you're generating content, and okay. it should have keywords, it should be meaningful, it should be useful, it should be something that if it came up in a search result, people would say, oh, I want to read that, right? So it all ought to be optimized, and we'll have another session on that. Darren? Just make sure I understand. So when you say Google, uh, Google indexes Facebook posts, now is that just fan pages or is that friend pages as well? Okay. But uh, yeah, you're, you're, John and I were, were experimenting in the, uh, with Facebook uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the office the other day. We typed in my 10-year-old daughter's name uh, into Google, and she came up because this organization that she's involved with had put a Facebook post up in there on their fan page with her name in it. Or tagged her in a photo. Or tagged her in a photo. Right. Um, you know, uh, so, so very good. So what about, um, what about review sites? What about... Uh, you know, sites that go out and review things. Are those, are those social media? Are you talking about Yelp and things like that, or what are you talking about? Let's talk about Yelp. Yeah, is Yelp social media? Absolutely. I think so. Of course. Interactive dialogue on the internet or mobile device, social media. So, now, choosing the right tools for your business. I just wanted to define what might fall into that tool set of things that, that we would say, yes, these things equal social media marketing tools, right? And, and so the next thing is, um, you know, how do you determine the best social media channels? And we've just 
determined that a lot of other things are social media channels aside from Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn. There's all kinds of social media channels that people ought to be utilizing and participating in and that sort of a thing. How do you select the right channels for your particular business? Do you do it? Yeah. So I wanted to find out how other people do it because I'm having a lot of clients calling and saying, you know, hey, we sell B2B. So we, <coughs> excuse me, so we ought to use LinkedIn and we sell B2C. So Facebook would be better. And Twitter ought to come into either one of these two mixes. Um, do we look at it based on age? Do we look on it whether we're lawyers, so, you know, we're professionals, so LinkedIn is what we ought to use. There's no way any of our clients could possibly want to link, you know, use us, find us on Facebook or use that tool as a medium with 650 million people worldwide on it. There's none of their clients that could possibly want to do this, right? Uh, and, and Twitter seems to be this thing that's growing that's, that's out there and people are putting things, but I don't know that they're really in it. And so the, the feedback that I get are, I'm B2C, I should use Facebook. Hey, we're professional, I should use LinkedIn. Conversation? Stan? I think the, the big key with that is where are your customers? And who is it that you're trying to communicate? Who so, believes their customers aren't across the board on all of these things at some point in time somewhere? <laughs> who, yeah. who believes that their clients aren't on all of these things? I think our clients are on all of these. Would that be kind of underlining? Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. So it, it's it's. So maybe you say, where are the majority or where are you going to make the most impact and whatnot? For me, the whole social media argument turned when I sat through this presentation about, you know, why should I use Facebook or Twitter or any of that? And I went, holy moly. So two-thirds of my student base are in this certain age demographic and whatnot, and they're on Facebook or they are using YouTube and so forth and I went okay then if I want to communicate with them I need to be in those places yep so that was that was the point for me very good Steve um, what Steve also said is uh, looking at all these different tools but still using the old tools but still going back to other tools such as like your email messaging and marketing or constant relationship marketing uh, because so many of the things you put on autopilot and forget about, where we have a thing, a newsletter goes out to e-relationships, we send it out to maybe 15,000 of our clients, and I just got a, a response back from somebody just wanted to buy like a million and a half dollar policy. It's just something that you just throw out there and you forget about, whereas you're taking more of an active participation, like you're saying, in LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, everything else, and you're putting those things out there and feeding back immediate. So... It's, it's managing and keeping aware of all these areas. Right, and yes. All the time. So I think anything you're doing that is proactively building personal relationships with a community of people to build a tribe or to engage people through different channels, that's what you should be doing. Peter? I'd, I'd say take a step back. What do you want to do? You know, for example, say you're a restaurant and you have you know, barely enough time to keep the doors open. I would be all over the review sites making sure I'm not getting blasted there. I'd probably be doing email marketing, you know, collect email addresses, send an email uh, newsletter out maybe once a week with new specials or something like that. And in that situation, maybe I'm not actively participating, I'm just listening. You know, it totally depends on, I think, what you want to, what you want to do first. So what you want to achieve exactly. with your time. Exactly. Huh? Very good. And I'm, I, 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 I huge believer in email marketing, but it's not social media, strictly speaking. But I, I don't think anybody sh shouldn't be doing that to have a double negative. I think everybody should be doing that, right? Bill?